Good afternoon, all the Interest TV viewers and listeners. INCAP published its Q4 report a few hours ago, and on this video we will walk the performance through and also cover some other long-term and industry-wide aspects. And here with me, we have the company CEO, Otto Buk. Welcome, Otto. Good to see you after a while. Thank you very much, Jona. It's always nice to see you as well. Thanks. Um, let's start with the easy one, uh, how the Q4 went. Yeah, no, I think the numbers speak for themselves. We had a fantastic uh, Q4 uh, all-time high, and, and uh, so, so it went very well. Of course, uh, uh, there, there was a lot of work going into to making this, this result. Uh, the material situation on the market still was very uh, challenging, and, and uh, our teams uh, worked very hard to, to, uh, to get the material in and, and to, to perform this well. So, so from, from my side, uh, I, I want to to of course bring out and thank my team and to, to uh, that was uh, making a fantastic work and, and making this uh, result uh, possible. Yeah, uh, if you then look back to full year 2021, what are the most important uh, strategical and operational steps that you take during the year? No, I think uh, our growth strategy have, have uh, proved very successful over the year. And, and uh, uh, of course, it has been challenging with, with the COVID and, and, and the material situation and, and, and so to, 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 to grow. But, but I think uh, we have managed quite well, if you look at the numbers. So, so uh, key thing, it has been hard work, but, but uh, the result is there. Good. Um, you once said to me that you're a really optimistic guy and you don't like to consider mistakes as a mistakes, but rather learning experiences. Uh, that being said, uh, what did you learn from 2021 and how, how you aim to use this new knowledge in your current businesses? No, I, I think if you look at uh, 2021 uh, as, a, as a whole, um, of course, we have learned a lot when it can come to, to uh, uh, operational issues and, and it has been a uh, very much part of the year have been a crisis management uh, mode in that sense in, in, in the units dealing with all these uh, different things that were thrown uh, on us. Uh, but but uh, that, that said, I think, think uh, the business is always like this, you know, that, that there is challenges where we, we see now going into this year as well, there are the different geopolitical tensions and so that we, we, we see in Europe and, 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 and there will be effects out of that as well on, on the supply chains. And, and so even if it's hard to predict now on, on, on what they're doing, we have the energy crisis in China moving on. And, 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 and so, so, so there's always this kind of, of clouds uh, on, on the horizon, but, but uh, through those, uh, the sun still shines in that sense. And I think the electronic uh, industry is a fantastic place uh, to do business in, uh, business in and, and we have a growing, growing uh, global demand for electronics and we have, have uh, uh, for sure, sure this is uh, uh, continuing also, also, also the coming years. So, so uh, well, uh, yeah, there, there's always good and bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, during the last couple of years, we have talked a lot about uh, ongoing uh, supply chain challenges and component shortages. And we have also discussed how you have handled those, those challenges in your own sourcing and, and manufacturing processes. Uh, but one perspective or topic that we really haven't covered yet is, is your customer por portfolio in terms of this, uh, this situation. So could you tell us, uh, have your customer relationships changed somehow during the, uh, this situation? No, no I, I think we are, are very close uh, working with our customers and perhaps have even got closer working with, uh, because, because solving all, all of this, we, we are talking about material, if they are not there, we are finding new components or alternative components and, and to, uh, working very closely with the design teams and, 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 and so, so of course, it's not us only in, in INCAP uh, or our team that is, is a part of the solution. It always involves our customer. And, and, and uh, I think this is, is, is positive. Also, I think that most customers have an understanding for the, the situation on the market and, and, and uh, understand that, that it's, it's not the EMS companies that are to blame, but, but it's yeah. further down, uh, down the, the rabbit hole in that sense or the pipeline. Uh, and, and, um, and, and, and we are facing these challenges together. Uh, what we see also is that normally in, in the industry, we have, we have a quite short outlook or, or forecast 
uh, that we, we see clearly, but, but now this has extended. The companies understand that they need to place orders much, much longer in, in advance and, 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 and give forecasts much, much longer out. And so, so, so that's very positive in the industry in, in general. Of course, you never know if, if the material situation uh, stabilizes, then probably the, the forecast will be shrinking again. In that sense. But, 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 but currently, it, it is very good climate in, uh, between, between uh, us and our, our customers. That said, of course, everybody is frustrated for, for the material situation and, um, and, and other, other challenges. In that. Exactly. So could this basically be seen that uh, the increased customer intimacy has enabled you to turn these relationships into more strategic partnerships? No, no, I think, and I think over time we will see even even more because the, the business is built on trust. That that, that if we uh, if if customers want to outsource more and more of their their processes to Incap, then there must be trust, and the more close you work with people, and and, and so the more the trust. Uh, uh, bill. So, so I'm quite sure that, that this, this has positive effect in the long run as well. Yeah. Um, another industry-wide topic that we have discussed a lot has been the regionalization of, of supply chains. How this trend uh, developed during the last year and especially the latter part of it? Yeah, no, I think, I think first of all, that the INCAP's organizational structure with our decentralized management and local teams in, 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 in the different regions we are in is very much uh, working uh, together with this regionalization uh, trend in that sense. We, we, we are, have set up the cast, uh, company to be able to draw, draw a maximum out of that uh, trend. And, and I think now during the, the, the COVID times and, and uh, the last year with the materials and so as well, the organizational structure have shown its strength. Uh, we have dedicated teams in each unit for each customer that are, are uh, uh, chasing these materials together. So we don't have a centralized uh, uh, supply chain that prioritizes between the customers who, who is going to get what and, and, and who, who's, whose product is more important than the other. So, so, so I think this has been a, a, a great, uh, great uh, asset for us. And, and of course, with our Hong Kong operation that also can support on a global level, level then, then that is, is, uh, uh, have, have been very successful um, and that's shown in the numbers as well. Good. Sounds that you are quite well prepared for the opportunities that this uh, trend uh, brings you. Yes, no, no, we are just getting started. We are in, in that sense, and, and uh, our growth uh, strategy we will continue it with with this year and, and the coming years as as well. And, and, and that is focused, of course, uh, on on both organic growth and and, and also on on uh, uh, looking at different MA possibilities. So, so we 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 are kicking on in that sense in the same direction. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you then look at year 2022, uh, what are your main focus or development areas? No, I think I think we will continue in that sense. We will continue our strategy and, and, and we continue the investment and, and, and so in the operations that we're doing. Uh, operational excellence is a key thing for us. And, and uh, uh, so, so, so basically the track that we have set us uh, on, we will continue to, to explore. Yeah. Um, in 2020, we visited your Estonian factory and last November we had a fantastic trip to Slovakia, Namestovo. So uh, my final question is where we are heading this year. No, uh, you, you have uh, yet to see our UK operations and, um, and, and also our Indian operations. So I guess India is currently currently still uh, there is, is restrictions traveling in, but, but uh, why not uh, take them most of them this year and start with UK and then go to India? Thank you for the invite and for your answers and congratulations on a stunning performance in 2021. And I wish you the very best for you and the whole Incap team in 2022. Thank you very much, Jonas.